hello and welcome to purple pie studios so in this video i'm going to show you guys the entire process of how i made this drone animation project from beginning to the end so for that this is the illustration that i have created and the very first step is the layer separation process to prepare the illustration file for animation in after effects so in this process i have separated the layers of the illustrations for the elements that i want to animate independently in after effects for example, for the drone, I want to rotate it in fake 3D. So for the drone, I have separated all the shapes of the drone illustration in a separate layer so that we can rig the drone later on. After that, for the hands and the controller, I have separated the fingers and then for the controller, I have separated the antenna because I want to add some follow through later on. And other than that, for the background illustration, I have separated each of the elements such as windmills, bushes and the trees, even the clouds in a separate layer. And with this, the illustration file is ready for animation in After Effects. Now let's jump into After Effects and check out the animation process. So first I imported the illustration file in After Effects and then made the folder structure in the project panel to properly organize this project so that I can easily edit this project later on if required or reuse some of the animation of this project in my future animation projects. Then I pre comped the layers that belongs to the same object such as for the drone, then for the controller and the hands and also for the background elements such as windmill, bushes, trees and then mountains. So once the After Effects project setup is done, then I immediately moved on with the drone rigging. So rigging of this drone is almost the 95% work of the drone animation here. So for the drone, I first animated the propeller. So I added two set of rotation keyframes and added loop expression so that it continues to rotate throughout the timeline. And after that, I converted the propeller composition in a 3D layer and then adjusted the y-axis of the rotation to properly fit with the perspective of the drone. So then I morphed all the shape layers of this drone. So I added two set of keyframes, one for the angle top view and one for the exact side view of the drone. So I started with the top portion of the drone, then for the drone body, after that the cameras, so for all of these shape layers, I added two set of keyframes, one for the top or the angle top view and the exact side view, and then linked these keyframes with twig connectors. So I have added a 1D slider and then linked all of these keyframes with this slider so that we can control the rotation of the drone with this controller. Similarly, I added a controller for the eye blink and the camera rotation and right now the whole drone is fully controlled with this controller like this and after that i animated the drone so for the animation part i simply added some position keyframes some rotation keyframes on the drone composition and then also added some scale keyframes to animate it in perspective and after that, I simply animated the slider controller to control the rotation of the drone in fake 3D. So after the animation, I simply offsetted the keyframes of the rotation to add a little bit of follow through in the drone. And here is how the final animation of the drone looks like. So then I started animating the hand with the controller. For the hand, I animated the fingers. So for the fingers, I simply animated the path property of the finger shape layer. For the joystick controller, I simply animated the shape path property in accordance with the thumb movement. I also added some position and rotation keyframe on the overall hand with the controller composition to add some extra movement for the hand. And other than that, I also added some movement on the antenna of the controller. For that, I simply added some rotation keyframes on all of these antennas and then offset the keyframes to add a little bit of follow through in these antennas. And this is how it turned out. 
and then I proceeded with the background animation. So for the windmill animation, I simply added some rotation keyframes in a loop. For the coconut leaves on the right side of the screen, I added some pin tools to distort the layer and then converted the pins to the bone layer with the help of the tweak bezier plugin. After that, I added rotation keyframes in a loop and then offset the keyframes of these bone layers and this is how it looks. And I followed the similar process for the background trees. Okay, so this is how I animated this drone animation project. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.